With two years left on his term, Millersville Mayor Tim Lassiter shocks city officials by announcing he will step down after 10 years. He is one of many to call it quits after a lawsuit by former police officers called out the city for trying to cover up alleged systemic racism. News Channel 5 investigative reporter Levi Ismail has followed this lawsuit from the beginning and spoke with the mayor earlier. Uh, Levi, what did he have to say about this? You know, the mayor assured me that nothing about the lawsuit in question here motivated his decision to step down. He says this was a personal choice to make more time for family, but the timing of all this has raised some major questions. Attorneys filed the lawsuit last October. Since then, we know of at least four people who left their jobs with the city. One former officer who allegedly harassed the plaintiffs resigned the same month. Now then in February, former police chief Mark Palmer retired. He left the job to longtime assistant chief Dustin in car. Now, Mayor Lassiter stepped down last night, leaving the vice mayor to take the seat until an election in November. Finally, the city manager Steve Colley told staff last week that he would be leaving for another job soon. Colley was not named in the lawsuit, but all others were, including Carr and Palmer, as co defendants. The lawsuit claims these two made racially motivated comments and tried to cover up wrongdoings by other officers. When the plaintiffs chose to speak up, attorneys say Palmer, Carr, and Lassiter all retaliated by forcing them out. At a minimum, these people are witnesses. Now, with regard to uh, Mark Palmer, the former chief who resigned, he was sued in his individual capacity and is still a defendant in the lawsuit. Now, the same goes for the new acting chief, Dustin Carr. He, too, could face judgment even if he leaves the position. Attorneys say the city would be the ones to answer for the mayor and others named in the lawsuit. The officers who filed the lawsuit are seeking not only damages, but also back pay. For News Channel 5 Investigates, I'm Levi Ismail.